I start wrestling at what, like 14 or something. They yeah. come up with me. Let, let's tell an aside here. One time I wrestled a match and Carl Ooh. was my referee. And at the end of it, I gave him a kiss. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> I was just feeling it out there. Maybe he, I one of them. he was but fucking just, feeling it. He didn't know yeah. that I was 14 at the yeah, time. So I kissed 14 year old Carl <laughs> one time. <laughs> but we're cool now, so it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, bro. We came up with this gimmick. So I was going to be the, the hipster luchador. Okay? <laughs> Uh, my name would be Instagram, like Instagram, <laughs> but Graham. <laughs> yeah, so that was me. That was me. Nice name, cool man. Instagram. Whatever. Hey, if you go on social media, you, you can still find it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you fucking dare! Instagram, I guess. Uh uh-uh. oh, you Did you find it? God. Did you find it? Fucking Pass it over. Me. Pass it over. <laughs> fucking kill me now! <laughs> Hello, I'd like to die. Say, Thank let, me, you. let me find some comments. I'm this. dead now. Good now I feel oh, every, every day of my life. Right now. Check it, check it in. Let me find some comments that we put on. Um, Instagram was a gimmick that one of my trainers, Ryan Eagles, gave to me. Essentially, I was gonna be the hipster luchador, and then the Instagram name was just a funny pun. Are those just uh, those just a pair of high store bought uh, jaggings? Oh yeah, oh, nice. of course they are. There we go. <laughs> Whoops, didn't work. Oh, here oh, we go. God. Here it comes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh! Whoa! You the mid, the mid code red. You blame yeah, the bin yard. Wow. Here we go. No, this is the. This is the. Here we go. Make the tag. Oh, oh there's <laughs> definite contact. You can there see hand contact. on hands contact. There was yeah. definitely oh, show. Yeah. a tag. That was referee's ref blind. Uh, yeah, <laughs> poor referee. And really. See me pleading with also the referee. Also a poor haircut from the referee. <laughs> <laughs> As a side. <laughs> I always think, what if like the refs are looking at his back and we just <laughs> just insult him? <laughs> Do you quite often bury the ref. So I'm not. It comes around. up quite a lot. <laughs> But let's appreciate this sweet camera angle here. Oh, <laughs> they got into it at this point. No sun in the background. Nice twist. Yeah. ECW promo style. Boom. Are you gonna go for a big frog smash? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't mean to. Jump oh, into the tag. I mean, he tried to do his own comeback with the cord red, and it didn't yeah. work out for him. So this so, time, need to frog call. splash isn't gonna suffice. Call yeah. my trainer. Oh, do the job that, that, that was a maven drop hit that was. Yeah. Oh, 450? Yeah, he's gonna finish it with uh, 450. Of course he is. Uh, oh, just the most perfect 450 you've ever seen. Perfect. What your first- Oh! Look at that! Oh, uh, piss off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your on the outside? Like, oh, uh, damn. And he's like, did it all. Uh, yeah, yeah, did it. Overall, very, very good. Hell of a match. Hell of a good first match. Probably not quite Tyler Bate level, but... But still, yeah. in there with experienced guys. Yeah, so, to be fair, a lot um, of experienced guys in there. Do you struggle wearing a mask? To be fair, I've done a little bit of training in the mask to get me acclimatised. So it How long were you a mask wrestler for? Literally until I moved here. 2014 till 2017. I wrestled on Instagram for fucking, I don't know, three years or something. Moved to England when I was... Uh, what year? What a terrible three. 2017? 2017, you were 18. I was 18 years old. Still had this gimmick. And uh, my first weekend was the first Fight Club Pro DTTI weekend. I get there, and on the third day, I was told I was going to wrestle. In a Trent, scramble. Yeah, in a scramble match. Trent Seven comes up to me, and he goes, What's your gimmick? I go, Hey man, I wrestle as the hipster luchador Instagram. And he goes, But the idea came for you to be called Whistle first. But then we were like, what if he's not even called Whistle? He's just called... He's just called... <laughs> <laughs> my name! My name was a sound. So the ring announcer would be like, introducing dead, like from wherever. <laughs> Imagine, right? It's different. And then the crowd would be like, this is awesome. They'd be like, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Davis. Let's go. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yeah, right? <laughs> Conceptually, <laughs> it's flawless. Like, but, it's, a, yeah. it's quite a but good then, idea. they also didn't realize... <laughs> <laughs> you alright? I can't fucking whistle. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even say his own name. I can't say my own fucking name. <laughs> Can you whistle now? No! I can't fucking whistle! There was a fatal flaw in our stretch. You <laughs> <laughs> can't the voice. <laughs> Like this? Like this? It's like yeah. double rock-ons. Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Crowns are fingers. for the boys. No, you don't cross the fingers. Do you put it here? No, no, your fingers don't touch. They oh, cross. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they cross? Oh, okay. Yeah, cross. There you go. I think AEW is like a good, like, fucking landmark for, like, 
how exciting stuff can be done properly. Yes. And I think it's just going to keep rolling, man. I'm fucking hyped for it. Kyle Fletcher made a name for himself as one part of the Aussie Open tag team with Mark Davis, who he would hold numerous tag team championships with between 2017 and 2023, including tag titles in New Japan Pro Wrestling and Ring of Honor. At Wrestle Dream, Aussie Open would challenge FTR for the AEW World Tag Team Championships but ultimately come up short in that effort. Furthermore, after the event, it was revealed that Davis had suffered a wrist injury and would be out of action, leaving Fletcher adrift. He's doing good. I don't want to get too much into what's going on with him. I think that's his story. I think he will tell that story when he feels fit. Um, I don't think that's my, my job and my place, but he's doing good. Um, as, as far as it comes to Aussie Open in the future, um, it's very hard to say, right? Because he's been gone for close to a year now. It was Wrestle Dream last year was the last time we saw him. Um, and a lot has happened since then. I've been in the ring with Kenny Omega, Brian Danielson, uh, Will Ospreay, um, all these people. And I've grown and changed so much. So I think when it comes to him returning when he does return um it, it the landscape might be different you know what i mean so i think time will only tell when it comes to that it would not be long after the events of wrestle dream that fletcher would be approached by don callis and convinced to join the don callis family stable with his longtime friend and mentor will osprey i i think a lot of people don't realize how uh how good his brain is for wrestling and i don't I, I probably didn't even realize it's only been through working with him and being able to talk to him every week we obviously interact all the time um only recently of well through working with him have i realized how great of a mind he has and i think i'd probably say the biggest thing that he's instilled on me is believing in myself um he he has he has come up to me and been like, this was great when you did this, this was great when you did this, you need to do more of this, whatever. And it's caused me to be like, oh yeah, you're right. Like that was good. And it, it's made me pick up on things that maybe I wouldn't have otherwise. And then um, also him going, I think you should watch this person that maybe I wouldn't have gone back and watched before um, from back in his day and being like, you should try and steal these certain things or look at the way they do this and pick that up and I think that would work great for you with your size your style whatever so I think yeah just little uh little pickups like that and then also he he's my biggest supporter man like he tells me every week that he thinks I'm gonna do big things in this business and uh yeah I hope I can do him proud under the guidance of Don Callis Fletcher would take on a much darker image and begin calling himself the Protostar. I say I'm the Protostar because I plan on being the greatest of all time. I will prove it any given night because I am Kyle Fletcher. I am the Protostar. This new aggression would propel him to win the vacated Ring of Honor World Television Championship by defeating Commander Lee Moriarty. Dalton Castle, Lee Johnson, and Brian Keith in a survival of the fittest match at Final Battle in December of 2023. I've been telling people on this channel to subscribe and they won't. Yes. What can we do about that? Can you help me out? You Maybe if you tell them to subscribe, they'll do it. You threaten them. I'll threaten them yeah, for you. you. Yeah, that yeah. You don't have to do it or you're cursed. Recently, Fletcher would return to tag team action, but not with Mark Davis. This time, he would team with Will Ospreay and enter and win a tag team casino gauntlet match to secure a shot at the AEW Tag Team Championship at Grand Slam in New York. And the team of Kyle Fletcher and Will Ospreay is seriously on point, especially in this match that I watched this week on Dynamite between Will Ospreay, Kyle Fletcher, Takeshita, 
and the Elite, Matthew, Nicholas, Jackson, and Okada. The highlight of this match, which was the match of the night and one of the best matches of the entire year, was certainly the tandem offense that Kyle Fletcher and Will Ospreay mounted in this match. The MVP by far was Kyle Fletcher, who had some of the best spots. Channeling Kenny Omega with these Snapdragon-like suplexes. I don't know if I've seen a bad Kyle Fletcher match. Kyle Fletcher has something about him. He's one of the most exciting young stars in AEW. And probably a big reason why this match was as highly rated as it was. I mean, shout outs to everybody involved in this though. Everybody's got great spots here. Uh, Takeshita looks fantastic. I actually just did, I'm, I'm working on another video with, with Takeshita in it. So make sure you like and subscribe for that. That's coming up. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Will Ospreay and Kyle Fletcher end up doing at Grand Slam in their match versus the Young Bucks. And I'd be curious to know what you thought about this as well. What do you think about Kyle Fletcher? What did you think about this match? And are you excited to see a video on um, Takeshita? I'm excited to make that. I was very happy to make this video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below and Grave Diggers, keep digging. He is the eye and I am him and I'm the undisputed trend in that haven. And this dork behind the camera, some Melvin told me to say, Grave Diggers, keep on digging. Whatever that means. I am AEW wrestler and Ring of Honor tag jam, Mike Bennett. And remember, Grave Diggers, keep digging, but not the monster truck. Even though my son really likes that monster truck, I kind of like Son of a Digger, and so I'm going off on a tangent about monster truck because my son really loves monster truck, but we're talking about the YouTube channel, so make sure, Grave Diggers, keep on digging, baby. So this is Mark doing one half the private party, saying what up to the Grave Diggers, and you doing your thing, bro. Alright, like, subscribe, and watch another video, or be cursed. And if you're cursed, that means the Grave Diggers will keep digging your graves. Yeah probably want you to do it.